Hello and welcome back to the OBR YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be doing the market forecast for the week of December 27th. In this video, we're going to be obviously covering our fundamental drivers for this last week of 2021, but we're also going to be going into our juiciest part, our technical analysis, our favorite setups for this upcoming week. So without any further delay, let us get right into this week's video. And to start us off, we have no fundamental drivers in this week. There is no fundamental drivers from the week of December 27th to the end of the week, uh, Friday, the end of 2021. The uh, Friday actually falls on New Year's Eve this year. So for earnings, they will be as you find on screen. Now that we got our news out of the way, we're going to move into our technical analysis. And the first thing to start us off this week is SPY. We're looking right now at the 30 minute chart and as you can see, we just bounced off of this resistance fractal that we have highlighted here in purple. We are now bouncing between these two uh, highs here at the 470 level around there and also these two lows around the 450 level. So we're keeping a close eye on this consolidation period, but there's really not going to be any confidence in direction until we break our high or our low again. But there's a higher probability that we do break our high, but again, I don't think so in the short term. That's because we're getting a strong bounce off of this resistance fractal with a strong engulfing candlestick, which could lead us to some further downside in the short term. But mid to long term, I do think we'll be breaking for all time highs on SPY. Apple just recently completed a five wave move on a micro time frame, a lower time frame. We are also bouncing off of this resistance fractal and it does look like we could get some form of correction in the short term. But when we look out, we zoom out a little bit on Apple, there's really nothing clear, uh, any real clear determinations of trend. So with that in mind, we're going to be very, very careful around this level. We need to really get a confident break of our high again to see if we're going to continue our very, very, very bullish uptrend or a more confident break to the downside to show us that we can get that reversal that we've been waiting for. So a lots of lots of indecision on Apple. Just be patient, please. Again, this is the last week of the year. There's no need to be rushing into any trades this week. We, for example, had a great killing last week. So, you know, I don't want to lose any of that money. I want to keep as much money as I can moving into this new year so I can start off very, very nicely. But as I'm always saying, if there's a trade yelling at you, grabbing your collar and screaming in your face, then consider taking it. Maybe half risk, like I did last week on one of my trades, or just hit the trade if it's yelling at you. But wait for the trades that are yelling at you. Don't rush any trades. That's how you lose. So looking at PayPal, we can definitely break out of this resistance in this wedge, hopefully sometime soon, to signal our reversal of trend and a move to the upside. We're also looking at something very, very similar on Amazon, which we will get to in a minute. But on Delta, we called this out last week, and if you caught this trade, these contracts did fucking phenomenal, for lack of a better word. They really did well. As you got to break out of this resistance, price quickly, quickly appreciated to this high resistance fractal, again, highlighted in purple. So from this level, I want to see if we can get above this resistance fractal and continue our move, or if we're due for a slight retracement, perhaps down to this middle level in this channel that we're in, and then a move to the upside as a continuation. AMD, I'm looking for a bounce off of this support turned into resistance fractal. So as you can see, we broke above on Thursday because Friday was closed. And my hope is that we can get a bounce from this level and play continuation to the upside. But again, that requires uh, confirmation. So please wait for confirmation on that. Tesla was our fantastic trade taken last week. We called this out for you guys, I believe, on our last week's market forecast. We definitely should have. I believe we did. Um, but as soon as we got a break out of this resistance fractal, sorry, this resistance line, we quickly broke above all of our other resistance fractals here, this one and this one, and price quickly appreciated to a 2000% contract gain as of Wednesday. So this continued well into Thursday. So that was probably much, much higher. But this is finally finding some resistance here. But again, we've had a lot of momentum. Perhaps we just break through and go right back up. Great trade if you were in it. Corsair, we, I know we called this out for you last week. We are now got our confirmation breakout. We got to bounce off of that 
uh, neckline, which was resistance and is now support. We got a very nice confirmation bounce off of there. And we're gonna be keeping a close eye on Corsair. I am in this trade, I'm holding it. This definitely has some higher potential. My take profit, my first take profit is set at this low that we had here at 23.90. Lucid looks like it could break to the upside, but probably due for f further retracement considering our move to the downside was an impulse. That means we will usually follow it up with another impulse after an ABC correction. So just be careful. I hope that's incorrect and I hope we just break for all time highs again on Lucid. AMC setting up to be one of the best setups I've seen in a while. Just got a break out of this downward trending channel after a retest to this 38.2 retracement as this blue fractal down here. And now we're form forming an inverse head and shoulders. So. Lots of confluences lining up for AMC. I'm very, very excited to see when we get this break of resistance as this neckline, and that will be our confirmation for the trade. Amazon broke out a resistance fractal uh, zone that I've been using very, very frequently lately because I find it helps avoid fake outs. And now it looks like we're getting a bounce off that level. If we get a confirmation bullish engulfing close off of this, that is your confirmation. This could be a very, very, very beautiful trade. QQQ, we hit our first take profit. I'm looking for a bounce off of this resistance we just broke and a continuation to the upside same thing on nvidia we have this downward trending wedge looking for either a bounce to play to the downside or a break to play to the upside very very simple peloton we are at the 2618 fibonacci extension which is a high probability area of reversal which i just started incorporating lately so could we get a break out of this wedge and continuation or sorry reversal on peloton absolutely absolutely especially at this low but I need more confluences, so I'll keep you guys in the loop on that, but I'm not gonna be rushing into this trade, especially at this time of year. Rivian is bouncing off of the low formed on its IPO, and we have an inverse head and shoulders. If we get a breakout of both of these resistance lines, this could do very, very well as a continuation as we see more upside to Rivian. So, that was this week's market forecast. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and pulled some valuable insight out of this video that you can apply into your own trading this week. As always, happy trading, and I'll see you in the next.